This is our new 2024 internal speed control unit. It has thermal overload. The orange switch is going to be 10 amps. The green is going to be 7. 7 amps is going to be for 550 and 750 motors. Orange is going to be for 900,000 and 1500 motors. In addition to thermal overload jam protection, it also has built in software based jam protection. The red button is start, run, and stop. It will start and stop the motor at any speed. It also has a power out safety circuit. If you pull the plug and plug it back in, it will not start up if you happen to leave your machine engaged and went away and then the power came back on while you were gone. You have to reset it. Having that power out feature eliminates the need for the button that you have on top of all your mini lathes. Notice how big it is and cumbersome. The next thing I want to point out is everybody's been telling me they want easy reverse. Well, there it is. Just push the button and it'll reverse for you. This reverse, you can adjust the braking and the acceleration to compensate for any load that you're running so that it stops precisely how you want it to and restarts the other way, for instance, in power tapping. I also had a lot of requests for an e-stop button, so I put an e-stop button in. It's actually linked through the braking in the soft excel, so you can actually adjust it so that it'll coast to a stop if you hit the e-stop or so that it'll, the brakes will apply and stop it instantly. You set that up, I'll show you how. To adjust the braking, which is also the e-stop, push the P and the S, scroll up or down to the 8, it's already on the 8, select the 8, it's on 0. That's the way you saw it, I'll show you. That's set at 0. It still has a little bit of braking, but when you got a big lathe hooked up to that, it's going to keep spinning. We'll go back into braking, A, select, and we're going to, 6 is going to be, no, 5 is the highest. We'll set it at 5, and then we'll hit the stop. You see how the motor jumps a lot more? We'll do that again. Set eight to zero. Select, run, stop. See, it was much softer. Set eight to Five, run, see how much more jump? It will stop your machine right now. Additionally, I had a lot of people requesting they wanted tighter increments. They didn't want it to stop at just every 100 RPMs. So I fixed that too. As you can see, it's every 10 RPMs now instead of every 100. That means you can dust it all the way down to, let's say, 210, 270, maybe 250, 370, 310, anywhere across the full spectrum of RPM available. Whoops, gotta touch that brake off. I think that's it. I'm sure I forgot something. I'll bring it up later.